This week, we highlight another life well lived. Norman Mineta was 10 years old when, in 1942, he and his family were taken from their home in San Jose, California, to an internment camp for Japanese Americans in Wyoming. Even after that experience, he spent the rest of his life serving the United States. Mineta became an intelligence officer in the U.S. Army, serving in Korea and Japan. While working at his immigrant father's insurance agency in the 1960s, Mineta was elected to the San Jose City Council. In 1971, he became the city's mayor, the first Asian American ever to lead a major American city. In 1975, Mineta began the first of his ten terms and two decades in the United States Congress, representing Silicon Valley. In 1988, he fought for and won passage of legislation that gave a formal apology and reparations from the United States government to the 120,000 Japanese Americans like Mineta detained during World War II. Mineta later served as Commerce Secretary under President Clinton, becoming the first Asian American to hold a presidential cabinet post. He stayed on in the administration of President George W. Bush as Secretary of Transportation, a position that would thrust him to the forefront of history. On September 11, 2001, Secretary Mineta joined Vice President Dick Cheney and others in a command bunker beneath the White House, where Mineta gave the dramatic and unprecedented order to the FAA to ground all of the 4,500 commercial planes in the sky that day. After the attacks, Mineta was charged with creating and coordinating a new Transportation Security Administration, which he did in just over a year. In 2006, President Bush awarded Mineta the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Norman Mineta, who rose above the discrimination of the country he spent his life serving, died on Tuesday at home in Edgewater, Maryland. He was 90 years old. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.